What's good? It's Stormy B-Man, and I'm back with another Stormy B-Man's Briefs. This time, the focus is on something that I'm getting a little bit more excited about. The possibility of more fights next year involving matchups that we would like to see. This time, the news is from Boxing Scene, where Janibek Alum Kanuli is calling out for Carlos Adames for a spring showdown. That's right, the middleweight champion. Janibek is looking for a challenge. And since some people are saying that Adames is a worthy challenger, he's looking to seek a matchup with this gentleman. As the article goes, the middleweight division doesn't have the big names associated with it like it used to, something that annoys Janibek. Of course, we could take a trip down memory lane and discuss Hall of Fame greats such as Bernard Hopkins and Marvin Hagler, but their title reigns took place before Alu Kanuli even knew how to tie his shoes. Around his own era, however, Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin were considered modern-day greats. And while he was hoping to eventually face them, neither are realistic options because both men do not want the smoke. Alvarez is, in, is campaigning at 168 pounds and has no interest in shrinking back down in weight. Golovkin, on the other hand, is a complex puzzle to figure out. No, he's not. Although he still competes at 160, considering that he dropped both of his middleweight titles, it's unlikely he'll get back into the mix. Golovkin is sit ready to sell out to the pastures. He's not looking to face any of these young fighters. It may not be the star-studded division that it once was, but Janibek is making the best of it. With the WBO title already in his possession, the 30-year-old is on the verge of his first unification bout as he eyes a matchup against newly crowned IBF champ Nascenzo Gilterrier with a deal nearly finalized for October 14th. Now, if that fight comes off and Janibek becomes the unified champion, the heat will be turned up on the other fighters because Janibek is looking for the challenges. And the article goes on to state, as long as everything goes according to plan, Janibek, who's 14 and 0 with nine KOs, will look to aggregate the rest of the middleweight titles. The WBA's version is currently being held by Arislandi Lara. As for the WBC title, Jermall Charlo, has the full version while Carlos Adamas has the interim tag. Either one of those men would be a quality matchup for Janibek, but he's not holding his breath when it comes to lining up a fight against Charlo. The 33-year-old hasn't fought in over two years and the WBC sanctioning body has essentially given him full autonomy over their title, regardless of if he fights or not. If you ask me, they are saving that opportunity for Canelo Alvarez as part of this multi-fight deal that he has with PBC. It's a shame that Jamal has put himself in this type of position, but at this juncture, he is nothing mere more than cannon fodder. And whether he's looking at Canelo, where the big bucks are, or he's looking at Janibek, where the big beating is, he's going to have to make a decision. In the meantime, Alum Minakunuli is looking for the smoke, and I love it. I love the fact that there are still fighters out here who want to prove their wares. But what do you think? This is Stormy B-Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, the third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know what you're looking ahead to in 2024. And is this fighter and his choices what you're looking to see? Peace to everyone out there. 
and everyone remain safe.